Neglected tropical diseases are a group of parasitic and bacterial infections that affect over 1.5 billion of the world's poorest and most marginalized people. These are diseases that keep kids out of school, they cause blindness, they cause illness so people can't go to work, and children can't grow or be nourished properly, and really just don't have the same trajectory in life unless they get treatment. If you really measure the impact of their disability and death, they're some of the most burdensome diseases on the planet. We cannot solve poverty on this planet without addressing the scourge of NTDs. The N Fund is a private philanthropic response to neglected tropical diseases. I attended the Africa-wide Neglected Tropical Disease Program. There were almost 30 countries that came forward with their national plans, and some countries, like Mali, had already been implementing their plans for five years. Mali was a beacon of hope for many countries. It was evidence that progress could be made. Three people have been killed during a military coup in Mali. The group say they've suspended the constitution. Due to the coup, USAID had to suspend funding. What I heard was Masitan Dembele stand up and give the most heartfelt speech about how funding had been canceled for her country. And if we stop it because of the problem of financement, what is going to happen? The malady will come back with force. If we interrupt, the treatment, all this effort we have made during many, many years can be cancelled. Masitan and the Ministry of Health here in Mali asked the End Fund if we could step forward and mobilize resources for this cause, which is exactly what we were able to do. Nous allons acheminer les médicaments de Bamako jusqu'au niveau des villages les plus reculés. It's public health at its best. There are over 30,000 community drug distributors that were mobilized as part of this effort. This army of community drug distributors and the commitment of leadership meant that almost 12 million people will be receiving medicines. And when we reach them, we pass this message saying that you are not neglected. We are doing our best to reach you. That means those 12 million people won't have intestinal worms in their bellies that are keeping them sick and tired. They won't be at risk of going blind from trachoma or onchocerciasis. They won't be at risk of having worms swimming around their lymphatic system that could grow into massive tumors in years to come. It means they're not at risk of getting schistosomiasis that could affect their liver and kill them years down the line. All these cases can increase if Enfan was not with us at this critical moment. The story of Mali is a perfect example of why the End Fund is needed. It wasn't lack of leadership, it wasn't lack of commitment, it wasn't even lack of medicines. It was lack of funds to get the medicine directly to the people. Notre ambition c'est quoi? C'est d'éliminer ces maladies tropicales négligées. Il nous manque un peu de ressources. We almost doubled our funding goal. So what started as an emergency response for Mali now has become a broader commitment to NTDs here in Mali. Le Mali est sur la voie d'élimination de ces maladies tropicales négligées. They want better lives and they want better lives for their family. Notre vision est voir un Mali meilleur, un Mali avec des enfants qui n'ont pas de problème de vision c'est de voir un Mali meilleur avec des enfants enthousiastes qui vont à l'école. Un Mali florissant, c'est notre vision. The end is possible for these diseases. The end is absolutely possible.